Welcome back to another CodeHub tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover how to edit a post, a pre-existing post. As you can see here, I'm already logged in as one of the users. And currently, we do not have a way to edit a post. So what we can do is we can delete this post and create a new one. But in this tutorial, we will cover how we can edit um, a specific post once we're logged in into the uh, website. So first we need routes so I'm, you go to your routes.php file create the two new routes so the first route we need a get route and so let me go here and I will call this route first ID and then edit and what I will call this I will call it get edit post and this will go to the forum controller and get edit post so why ID? So basically what it will do through a get request, it will pass the ID of the post that we want to add it to this page. Second one, we need a post request where we can submit the, and the, the data and update the actual post, the edited post. Okay, so I'm going to call this edit post and this will go to save edit post. Okay, now that we have these two uh, routes, I'm going to go into the forum controller here and create those two functions. So one was called public function, get edit post, and in here it's expecting an ID, which would be the post ID. What I will do is I will go ahead and copy this try and catch here, paste it inside, and I will get rid of the flash message here and the delete reply. And in here, what I would do, instead of reply, I would declare a variable called post. And we'll set that equal to post find or fail. And I'm going to pass in the ID that is being passed into the URL. So what are we doing here? We're going to try to find the post. And what we will do is, next, what we want to do is, we want to validate that the person who is actually making this request is actually the owner or the author of this post. Otherwise, we shouldn't allow them to edit this post. And if we do not find, so if the post ID is invalid and we cannot find the post, this will fail, we will get a model not found exception. And simply in this case, we will just redirect them back to the home page. But if you guys want to be a little bit more detail, detail you can put some kind of flash message or you know, explaining that, you know, we did not find anything. But in this tutorial, we'll keep it simple. So, okay, so once we do find the post, the next thing is we're going to declare a variable called categories. And we're going to set that equal to category all. And I will explain in a second why we need this. So if you remember, when creating an actual post, initially, we have an um, input field, the select box, which allows the user to select the category where this particular post is under. For example, it can be under PHP, C++, Java, etc. So in this case, we want to pre-populate the form with the category that this post has that we want to edit. But also what we want to do is we want to populate the other categories as well. So the user, if he wants to update it to another category, he has the option to select that. So that's why we need these categories. Then last thing we need to do here is we need to return the view which will be in pages edit post and we do not have that view yet but we will create that view so compact and we're going to pass the two post object on model and the categories back to the view okay so this takes care of the get request where we view the page next function we need is to actually update the post so we would do a save edit post and in here I will scroll up to the top of this controller and here we have a create request so I'll copy this scroll down paste this in here so this just does the validation and if you go in here under the request directory create post what well, it has a few rules basically the title is required the category and body and the max and the min lengths and what you guys should really do is you should create a new post request so you should call it probably edit post request and 
I'm gonna keep I'm gonna use this existing one the reason is because um, it's updating already in the post is very similar and I will keep and I will check for the same rules but what you should really do is create a new request call it edit post request and uh, add, add, add the rules under there and then you know call that request here and make sure that you include it at the top of your um, file okay so once you have done this in here we will have another try and catch so I'll copy this try and catch I will paste that inside this function same thing here we need to do a find or fail so we need to find the post based on the request that's coming in and what I will do is I will copy this request variable and I will say post ID and this post ID will be submitted with a form and within once we create the edit post view and we have the form in there within that form we will have a hidden field which will include the post ID again here we do need to check if to make sure that the author uh, is actually who's saying he is basically he the post belongs to uh, to the person that's submitting the post request the reason is if somebody knows HTML they can simply go in and manipulate the ID the hidden fields and then when they submit they could be in trying to update somebody else's field with that data uh, in most cases they won't do that but if they do try to do that in the back end we are also checking if he's the author and if, he, if he's not he won't be able to update anybody else's post so that's why we need to check this okay so once we do check that what do we need to do I'm gonna go simply again scroll back at the top here post question I'm gonna copy this up to the category ID scroll to the bottom paste this in here and let's explain why we need this okay indent that save it so here once we do validate that the author is saying who he is and the post does belong to him what we're saying is we do have an instance of this post here so what we will say is like okay the category ID of this post we want to set that equal to the category um, uh, to the category coming from uh, from the request same thing for the title same thing for the body and then we want to update it so save means it will update this existing post and then we we'll, let's say we, we will notify so we'll have a flash message called post updated and then successfully and then we will redirect back home okay and let me get rid of this I'm gonna get rid of this one here actually sorry we're gonna get rid I'm gonna get rid of this redirect back and then save it so now that we have this we need to go ahead and create the view itself so uh, inside uh, resources pages we're gonna create a new view so I'm gonna right click here new file and I'm gonna save this close this and save it as uh, edit post dot blade dot php and save that so next thing I will do is I will open the question that blade I'm gonna copy this and paste it in here since this will be pretty much identical to this one thing we need to introduce is that hidden field that we talked about so we will do here form hidden and what we want to do is post ID be the name of the hidden field and the value will be the post ID okay save that next thing we need to do instead of form open we need to do form model and here we're gonna pass the post object or model that we returned uh, within our controller uh, the ID here I will change it a little bit uh, we'll call it post or edit post form and also make sure we specify the route which is the post one post route that we created and that was edit post okay so what does this do uh, so Laravel here if you specify a form model basically what it does it looks at the table or the model here so it looks at the columns that we have in our database so we do and it looks for inputs that match the column name so if we have a column in the database which has a name of title what it will do is it will take the data whatever is in that column and populate it in this input here same thing for the body however for the category we have a category ID and in this name the name of this is category so it will not populate it because we only have access to the category ID and in this case we need to populate the category ID and name so to do that we will just simply 
put an if statement here if and what I would do is category ID is equal to the post category ID not the caption so what we need here is a category ID so if that equals that that means that this is the category of the current post that we want to edit so we got we want to make this as the selected category otherwise the rest of the categories we do want to still populate them so we can give the user the option to edit them or not if he wants to and if and I will copy this option here copy and I will paste it down here so the only difference is for the first one here since this is the user's category we want to make that the selected one and save it okay so now that we've done all this, we still need to give an, uh, a way for the user to, to access this page, to edit the post. So we need we will add a link here to uh, for the user to click so he can uh, edit that page. So I'm going to go into home.bladeview. And in here, I'm going to copy this list items. And under the comments here, the count, as you can see, uh, we will, let's go ahead and Put another option where they can edit the when they can access the edit page okay so up here let me go ahead and put that divider so and let me change the here the icon from a calendar to a pencil so it can look more like editing and we need to put an anchor tag here so i'm going to put an anchor tag and href and here I'm gonna do space URL route and we need to specify the get route here the get route was get edit post and we need to pass in an ID and that is the post ID okay save that however if we do this this will display this link for every post even the post that do not belong to us so what we need to do is we need to do a conditional statement here we need to check if actually that post belongs to this user and only display that link if the post does belong to the user give him the option to be able to edit that so I'm gonna do an end if here so we're just simply checking okay if the user is logged in and the user ID equals the post user ID then go ahead and give him this option to edit the post reload this page we see the pencil there however I don't see it edit because I forgot to type edit here so you can see some text and then reload this page so you see edit if I click on this and we see this view was not found so let's go back to our forum controller for a second and edit post return view and this is not page I think this is pages so let's go ahead and hit that okay so as you can see here guys the form is pre-populated with the correct data correct category and the body so what I will do here is I will type edit it I will change the category let's say to PHP and uh, edit it if I hit save returns me back to the home page says successfully saved and we see here the data updated and let me open this again so we can see the uh, sorry let me go back to edit here so if I click on edit I do see the category updated to PHP and I'm gonna change it to C++ just so we can do one more check again it says it was updated successfully edit let me click on edit again edit and we see C++ and I'm gonna type here edit to one last check and there you go guys and we see the data has been updated successfully click on there and users are able to see the new updated post okay guys so that was how you update data using laravel thank you for watching and stick around for the next tutorial thanks again